Hey, my fellow crafters. How are we all doing today? We're back. We're here. We're digging in our hole. We need to moss out and try to get our way down to our... Where is our wife? Why are we not showing up here? Sorry, friends. Always having the technical issues, you know? So that's what we do. There we go. Alright, we found it. We're good. We're here. Okay. Alright, we're good. There, we'll have a little bit of an echo for a second. But boom. Hello. Welcome. Alright, so we have cameraman up in the sky today. He's going to be hanging out. So we can get some more for a time lapse. But essentially, we are going to be using some more of this and we will also grab some more bone meal hopefully this thing's been working away we'll get there we'll get there we'll smooth it out here apparently it's time for bed anyway but look at this so much bone meal uh, we're going to switch. Don't want to have the fortune, just in case. We'll sleep this off. Hey, fella, how are you today? Hope you're doing good. We are off. So it's essentially just chipping away, hanging out. Doing Minecraft. We have uh, Amethyst Geode here to uncover, layer by layer. I, I'm doing good. Uh, Minis went back to school from spring break today. Well, I say spring break, not spring. But uh, that went well. Uh, Pipes isn't able to join us today. Probably, you know, it's Minecraft. He found his out. <laughs> we haven't suffered through it last week. Only two days, that's just a weekend. They had last week off. So yeah, I didn't get a whole lot. Uh, I wanted to get that episode out last week, but we spent a lot of family time instead. And it was much more worth it, I find. So we still got the episode out today. <laughs> well, there you go. Perfect timing, indeed. Alright, clear out. His lapis. So, it'll be exciting, I swear. I know we're still super far up. Might be worth it to like pull out the pickaxes again, maybe. A 
Or maybe that'll be next stream. I'll, uh, we have a couple of efficiency five, um, villagers. That's the word I was looking for there. And so I can get some diamond pickaxes with efficiency five. And that'll, I think, chew through the stone just as fast. And then once we get to deep slate all around, we'll switch back to moss because even with the beacon, we can't insta mine the deep slate. Zero, how are you? Google's not doing that good today. Sorry, I'm probably speaking pretty quick as well. I hope you're doing good. Alright, we'll go empty up some uh, inventory space. Well, I'm glad you're here, hanging out. We're uh, slowly working our way down to that um, iron vein. So we can get that exposed. Expose all the secrets. Pipes last stream just kind of went straight down. got half a dozen diamond hoes to go through here. Okay. I get you. All right. So it's saying that that's a specific. The switch is a blueberry. Uh, no, not tonight. He's got to go out tonight. He had some plans. So, Minecraft takes a backseat to life to him. <laughs> oh, get around this, uh... Amethyst field, what that thing's called right there. You got there. 
we got there. Yeah, no, so we'll be hanging out with pipes again on Wednesday. Probably. But I'll let him know that chat was sending the love, ask him where he was. Yeah, there is, so if you go out at night time and you can find like a tall hill or even pillar up or whatever, uh, at night if you look for light sources, there's a good chance of a village. Because you'll either find like lava pools or villages that way. Put that back right there. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I remember you saying that in your video. Alright. This is before creepers start popping up. Going through our first uh, diamond toe here. Luckily, we got into some nice caves pretty soon, too. Well, I say soon. It's in like 30 layers. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'd love to see it. You gotta take some footage and put it up because uh, that's my favorite part. Now that like the caves and cliffs, just the caverns is what they should be calling them. Because it's absolutely insane the world generation now. 
I say now like I know anything else really. I started a year before that update. Um, Canada uses dollars, Canadian dollar. Oh, I haven't found a lush cave yet. Yes, digging straight down, especially now with caves and cliffs, it's very dangerous. Oh, almost bow meals in Azalea. Have to deal with cutting down a tree. Oh, yeah, look at that. Top of the bow meal farm here. Real, Rayo, my apologies again for pronunciation. Which is now? Bone meal. Yeah, it's absolute essential. Actually, I don't know. I don't do. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, just like a simple composter, a couple hoppers. Just start dumping the moss into the top chest so you don't have to worry about it. And as long as you're in like the general area. That thing's just going to keep going away. By the time my inventory fills up, all that has already been composted. Alright, so yeah, we have half a dozen hoes. I need to get a villager with unbreaking. Geodes are supposed to generate with like at least part of it open to a cave. And that's how you're supposed to be able to find them. Oh, got to take care of that before it gets out of hand. That is, yeah, conversions like that. Let's sell $300 and there's nothing to snuff at. It's fine. It's like, it's not a lot of money to get. But it is a lot of money to have to, like, give away.
The only thing that I don't like when you're mossing for, like when you're converting moss, is you can't get four blossoms, I don't think. Like if we, um, let's see, take some stone. I don't think you're going to go up one. So like this has air underneath so that the moss would potentially grow a spore blossom, correct? But you never you never get a spore blossom on the underside. Well, on the spot brain just started, you know, give me the loading symbol. <laughs> Alright. So, natural resource. Best mine with gold. Now, when you say like gray, are we saying gilded blackstone? Is that gray? The schools? Or are you saying best mine with a gold pickaxe? And I just. Yeah, okay. Isn't everything best mine with a gold pickaxe? Just the fastest. Quickest to break. All right, chat. What's your answers? Give me a hand. Better sleep. We don't want our cameraman to get phantom. Oh. It just looks like it's getting dark. It's not quite dark yet, guys. It's dark enough to top. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't have that. You can't have that. We keep the tree. That is cobblestone. I guess that is gray with black. You're right. The most like common block from the beginning. I know, I keep going back and forth. Wandering trader there. I don't think they could have targeting been targeting my player. Cameraman safe. Man, 
hear another one somewhere. Hoping we start getting into some caves soon. In some free air blocks. Uh, this world's probably going on two years. Getting close. I haven't done like a lot. Maybe not quite two. Ah, uh, you can leave a comment. Actually, how about you do that? Leave a comment uh, in the actual video, and uh, that way I can remember to look it up. Yeah, this is just the, uh, just the family, and Pipes is family. But, uh, we could do next week, um, probably want to take a little break anyway, so maybe next week I'll drag Pipes, we'll do some mini games. Um, I was able to get back onto the Galaxite server again the other day, and they have like a battle royale style and some other stuff so we'll do uh next monday our minecraft stream will be off one of the servers and we can play some games and anybody's welcome to join us then oh here we go gravel pull out your shovel Perfect. With some dirt pads. All right, be a little while before we're all the way down there. All right, apparently I missed that dirt. Could have given the uh, little hole break and tried to shovel. That part. Just a slightly different noise, you know, it's nice. It's a nice change. <laughs> there we go. Got ourselves some stairs there to that one. 
get rid of all these top blocks here. Move this out a bit. That way cameraman can see the geode. Uh, no, so the, like, the Johnny's Journey series one, that's, uh, a different world. That was just, uh, trying out, giving it my first attempts at content. So. Had a lot of fun in that one, though. Uh, the one made the, uh, underground villagers. So, I've done that again, though. We have uh, all those villagers down by the zombie spawner now. That's super convenient. You can hear there's a cave somewhere over on this end. All the moss goes in, gravel, stone, dirt, trees. Oh, you know what? So this is even after that. Like, you know, um, we streamed this world. The first stream was with pipes and ghosts. So, <laughs> I guess, yeah, it would be findable to see when this world started. So, I'm probably just getting things mixed up. Always have big dreams to want to, like, keep a world for so long. And then something happens, the newest update, but this world, this is my forever world. Yeah, pipes is platform, I need to build a bigger house, so that's going to be happening soon. I, uh, we have the animal displays at the front of the world spawn. Honey bottles, so honeycombs, that's going to be for the trial chambers. I'm super excited for 121 coming out. And, like, you've seen the new mace. You've seen the new mace, right? You've heard about this, the new weapon. Uh, <laughs> 90% is me. And then pipes and the minis once in a while. Um, what they now, uh, so when Minecraft added the, the add-ons in the market, marketplace, we made a copy of this world. And so they have, like, we have the add-ons. And that way they have all the materials to craft anything they want. So, like, the camping one, I like that because it gives you uh, a lantern. That works like dynamic lighting. So as you're holding it, you become a light source. Well, that's good. Like you make it a, a big, uh, big old honeycomb. You can probably fit more than I did in it. But hey, just because I did one, it's a, uh, it you know, 
is a pretty typical idea, I think. But, by all means, I just like the idea that the bees kind of pooping out like the pollen, dropping all the honeycombs onto that hopper. And even right now, so because it's, uh, it's over at the spawn chunks that are running, so our bee farm is collecting honey right now, or honeycombs. And I think you need the honeycombs to craft the bee boxes. So, we'll have that update, and then I need to go collect some goat. I think that'll be happening. Oh, what have you got? Talk to me. Because, <laughs> like, that's the other thing. Right now, they're making, uh, they're making honeycombs, but there's also a good chance that some are escaping. <laughs> and until I get back to, uh, crack a hole in the roof, they've got no way of getting back in. But, I mean, so far, they kind of hover around the unit because they want to get back into the beehive. So they can sort of pathfind, just not completely. So they stick around so far. Okay, I was wondering, why is this not going down? Alright, that was the whole excellent. I'll be right here. <laughs> I know. Put it down. This layer is the highest. Tipping down. Oh, careful. Alright, so thankfully the terrain's starting to do some of the work for us. Unless that was piped last stream, but I don't think he cut off his side like that. This is going to be a bonus. Alright, this is the high ground now, so let's get rid of this layer.
Full meal across here. Yeah, because uh, I had to make it a double wide. Just so that items weren't like dropping through. Uh, it was, I don't know. It seemed like I had to have a double stream. Otherwise, items were landing on that shelf too often. And I was losing too much. But, um. So, it's, yeah, the stream goes double wide under those trap doors. But I think ladders on either side, the bees would still have the inside to get through. And even if they were like trap or gates, they can still pass by and just find through a gate, right? Big Jimmy, how are you? Thanks for dropping in, appreciate it. I hope I caught you. Well, we're doing good. We're looking for our iron vein. Thousands of iron blocks just waiting to be looked at because I'm not going to mine them. <laughs> We did that with one already, and we uh, was over over a shulker box full of iron. So that's the uh, hay speaking right now. We're exposing this iron vein with the uh, resources we got from the first one. And now we're taking our moss and we're turning it into bone meal to turn more stone into more moss to get more bone meal. Which essentially at the moment renders our hay speaking useless, but it's all fun because it's Minecraft. So that's all I got. <clears throat> Three. All right, got a high layer over here. Let's clear this down. Oh, that's a very tall layer over there. I'm a professional, don't worry. <laughs> Where'd that one go? Jeepers. Getting dim. Probably can't sleep. It's just the whole effect. Wholeception. Making you think that it's nighttime. It's not really. Alright, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Time to sleep. Let's go. Have, a, have some coffee. Come on, you're going to ruin the time lapse. All right, 
Get the tall layers. Get it all down to 39. That'd be good, right? Alright, layer 40, almost decimated. Alright. Finish the job. Thank you. Get rid of. All right. Oh, as if. Get rid of that. Come on. And we can almost safely say level forty. Nope. Not quite. Here, you, you. Right, break some blocks under. I'm cheating. Just cheating. Said the cheating word will stop. Okay, that's the last of it. This is it. Layer 40. Good is gone. And we've seen some of this opening starting, so it's only going to get easier. Right? That's what we tell ourselves. Oh, I lied. Get rid of that. Have we saw anything? I wasn't there.
Alright. Turn on. Layer 39. How did that not change immediately? <clears throat> Clearing, clearing, clearing. Still got lots of inventory, right? We're good. Alright. We got this whole layer. And we'll come back. Go through it. Stop wasting your phone mail. Like, we only have so much of it, right? Putin on the red. guys here. Of course you wouldn't. Alright, and we'll cut our way across here. Seriously getting dark already? I can't believe it's another day already.
All right, sleep away another day. Okay. Over here, might as well. Makes sense having those. Even though we will be obviously filling our pockets again. Nobody saw those. Right? We all agree it. Everything's been going perfectly. No blocks missed. Anybody got any suggestions for next animal? I do want to get goats, but anything else we should be uh, interested in? I don't think I'm doing like every mob. I could slowly start working my way back. As we go, we have most of the newer ones. Aside from goats, we can start working on goats next episode. Help just from natural generation. So well, that's exciting. Yeah. Super helpful. I don't know if that was pipes going around down there, if there's an actually uh, lush cave. Going just great, eh? Riveting stuff. I hope you're all having fun.
exciting thing, yeah. So we have a uh, abandoned mine shaft down below, and then we have the iron vein. Wait, I have, I don't even know if this hole is big enough to do the whole thing justice. Probably not. These things are thousands sometimes of blocks long. You know, it's like, hey, well, why don't you just make, <laughs> if all you want to do is just, like, expose it, isn't there a way to, like, generate? Is the iron vein a structure? Can you just generate? Build a big rock? I will put a big rock, how big? Like, are we talking humongous? Because I need to actually, if I'm getting goat, I kind of want to make, like, a little mini mountain habitat for them, if you will. So that's big. Big rock. Got it. Alright. We will have big rock goats. I will take them from the mountain and give them big rock. So, as you know, they say, you want to make sure you don't miss it. You want to hit that, hit the old subscribe. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even, can't do it. Thanks for stopping in, Laura. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day. microphone, but try to turn up or speak up, and then see for you a bit, bit better. Uh, my day was good. Well, I took the dog on a nice walk with the missus. The minis were back in school, so the house was quiet. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're uh, having a good day. And I hope the week keeps pace with that. Fair enough. It can be, yeah. <laughs> it can be. But that usually means that they're having fun, so. It's not a bad thing. Alright, let's go compost. And we can work on next layer as we go. Do you have any pets? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> My, like, we've got a, a two year old. So we just got from the shelter in December. And she's not much of a barker unless, like, she hears a car door or something. But we're out in the country. So it's pretty rare that there's a car door. <laughs> Why?
What kind of dogs are they? Echo is a collie lab hound mix. Ah, well, hey, now they have forever homes. That's awesome. Good on ya. I like dogs. They're my kind of people. <laughs> oh, nice. I like Rottweiler. Big ol' smushy face. Alright, we will take that out. Alright, there. Okay. I'm on track again. We're good. Yeah, I don't know. People, people, most people do not deserve them. But, you give them a good home and proper training, it's not the dog that you need to worry about. Not the breed, anyway. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'd be more nervous around a Chihuahua than a Rottweiler any day, I'll tell you what. Push me off a cliff now. Jesus. Oh yeah, they're so that's my thing. It's like all dogs, they're all trainable. It's just I feel that most people think that small dogs don't need to be exercised as much. And it's just not the case. So most chihuahuas they they live with typically, let's say, older people who are like, oh yeah, they don't need their exercise, and it's like, well, the thing's a, a psycho because it just has pent-up energy, so. If you're unable to walk your dog, find somebody that can walk them for you and get that done. Because, like, you know the saying, fish gotta swim, dogs gotta walk. Great, that's, we, uh, our first, our first dog, he was from the shelter as well, and he was too, and just like Echo, he's pure energy, it's like, he's half lab, half pound, pure energy, and you just walk, two, it was with him, it was two 5k, day, uh, two five kilometer walks a day, for years and it didn't matter what was going on that was like my job for that dog because he deserved it he needed to be walked uh, he was at the shelter because the first family that had him um, got him apparently for some kids and they just weren't old enough so without any walks he just kept running away And then eventually they were just like, told the shelter, yeah, we don't need to come back and get him. 
So. That's awesome. Yeah. That's the least we can do for them. Make sure we're giving them a nice warm house and everything. All good. Not like bonking that, like save a dog. But still, do it, Justin. Do it right. When you get a puppers, you walk it. But hey, that's just my hot take on dogs. <laughs> we don't deserve most of them. And if you want to, do it right. Oh yeah, absolutely not. Like, that's the thing. Like, don't just jump into it. Just like, well, like, if, it, if the situation calls for it and you find dogs on the road and it, they need it, you do it. But like, yeah, just know, yeah, it's a responsibility. And then you have, like, eternal love. Oh, wow. That's great. I'm so glad that they're uh, already connected to you. That's so awesome. Well, I'm glad that uh, you had them there for that situation. Well, if it's like, well, I guess it depends where you are, but it's, they, it's trespassing, right? Like, he's, obviously, the dogs were barking, there was well warning, he wanted to proceed with committing trespassing crimes, not to mention your home, he went any farther. <laughs> yeah, on the community post, that's my echo, or our echo, I should say. Oh, she is, uh, so Collie, Lab Hound, and just speed. Like, we go on a walk, like, we have a couple of different routes out here in the country, and, like, one of them is 7K, and you get back from that, and your legs are just, feet like burning at the joints and as soon as you get back into the driveway and unclip her collar like her leash she runs and finds her big rubber ball and brings it to you and just wants you to start throwing and kicking that for her and it's like if my leg feels like it's about to fall off <laughs> like you gotta give me some time here <laughs>
Yeah, that's good. We, uh, our last boy, he was 16 when he, uh, finally passed. But, um, so yeah, he was, uh, <laughs> 16. He wasn't, uh, one of the super active boy at the end. So, big difference going from him to her. got to remember that she can get herself up on the counters when you go to work, so got to make sure everything's put away. Oh, I love lab. What, uh, what... <laughs> What color lab was she? He, she? Yeah, yeah like, uh, she, if she was a lab, was she, uh, black lab, chocolate? No, 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 no. Oh, that's fair. Sorry. Love it. Uh, we have a seasonal window cleaning business. And when I have, so we go to a, some of our clients and when they have dogs, it usually takes me about 15 minutes before I can actually start my job. I gotta go play with the puppers for a while. Uh, was it like, was, well, I'm assuming it was it a service dog? I assume not. Yeah, okay. Not my favorites either. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had, uh, I was meeting a new client, like I went and did a quote, and they had like a small dog like that. And uh, they they waiting at the front door, and the husband went, or the wife had gone to get the husband, and the dog came up to me, so I like went down and gave him the back of my hand and let him smell. And I was doing a little hello, and all of a sudden the husband comes around the corner. He's like, "Oh, be careful! That dog will nip at you." <laughs> and the things just, you know, smelled my hand, didn't care. I was like, "Ah, dogs and me are pretty chill, so I'm not too worried." So he was pretty stunned that the dog didn't try to give me a nip. Don't worry, these are my people. 
I get along better with the dog variety than the human variety. Alright, we stock on some bone meal. And we have one hole left. Yeah, the fur is what yeah, that says they never get clean properly. Just dog ramble stream. <laughs> Alright, take that's that. That's that for now. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I like that. Repurpose. Okay. Thirty seven. 38, oh, we gotta get rid of this here. So the hard part is going to be when we get down into the deep slate layers and we start finding just a bunch of diamonds and I have to leave those. Because we've been in this world for a while, but I duplicated the silence armor trim quite a few times because it took a while to find one. So. I uh, lost out on a lot of diamonds that way. Species. What did you get? Spin in the Rubik's again. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Duh. He's trying to help me out with my bees escaping problem, and I'm thinking he went off and was mastering his Rubik. What did we come up with? How do we prevent our bees from getting out of our water slide? Uh, so what I have, um, I put out an episode today, Laura, um, I made a bee farm at our world spawn. And so the items, uh, they pop out, so I made it, well, you, you know, you'd have to watch the episode, and you can see. <laughs> but, uh, so I have water sources that are moving items, and then it slides across ice, 
The only thing is, the bees can also get down this water. So, I'm trying to think of like, non, like partial blocks. So that we can semi cover the hole. And the bees, or so the items can get through. But the bees won't be able to. Yeah, so I put buttons, uh, but it's a double wide. Oh, perfect, thanks. I really appreciate that, bud. And then we'll uh, be able to get the update. And for next episode, I can uh, give a nice shout out. Problem solving. Alright, so, yeah, I, I say bee farm, but I have the bees, and I'm collecting their honeycombs. Uh, yeah, right now it's just the honeycombs, and then I have to take the honeycombs to make bee nests, and then collect honey bottles. So you can get bottles of honey and honeycomb, because with uh, they've added copper to Minecraft, and they're adding these new copper light bulbs. And you can take honey to wax copper so that it won't oxidize. <laughs> Very Minecraft getting super technical. I don't understand I don't understand the redstone, but Oh, right? And, like, I don't have a lot of, uh, little farm. But, they're, uh, these new trial chambers, they have copper bulbs they're adding. And so, as the copper bulb oxidizes, the light source gets dimmer, and so the trial chambers, they have a lot of, like, new dungeon spawners, like mob spawner blocks, and I don't want the dungeon to also get filled up with creepers that could potentially destroy the structure that's coming. Alright, well you're back in time. We're getting pretty low on our six pickaxes, or six hoes that we brought with us. So it's almost going to be time to say goodbye. We're making serious projects. Projects? Progress? We've almost got the second, like the addition, I'll call it, as far as uh, the original. So we did all of that with silk touch pickaxes, and most of this side has been the moss and bone meal. Yeah, it's like the big mega, first mega project that I guess I've undertaken. I uh, It more or less is, so it's my family realm, and I've just got one buddy of mine that plays on it once in a while too. But primarily it's just uh, me and the minis. And they're... They're getting, uh, 
a bit older, so it's, yeah, mostly me. Got into Minecraft because of them, and now my... <laughs> They're getting into different games, and I'm like, I've played different games. I should have played this when it first came out. What was I thinking? I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was 20, and I was too cool. I'm too cool for this blocky game. Guess what? I wasn't cool. I just thought so. <laughs> But then I drew up. I, I honestly, it's I'm not a builder. I'm not good at building. I'm not good. I don't know the redstone. And it's really I just love adventuring. Like, the game, like, there's just so much. The world generation, like, I just like to explore it. Um, then the whole, like, there is kind of the end game. Like, I wanted to go through, and I got the dragon. Defeated that. And then you find out, oh, there's some other wither boss thing. So. <laughs> the yin and yang. I just, like, honestly, I could spend just four hours, like, just hours caving. Just running around, running around in the caves and not looking at the light, like, not seeing sky for hours. And just exploring the crazy cavern generation that this game has is absolutely insane. Alright, so we're getting... Alright, I want to kind of... I don't know what I kind of want. I just want it to be gone. Uh, yeah, that's my other thing, is I collect. I'm such a hoarder in this game, too. It's just like, ooh. It honestly it is so painful to, like, just start shoving all of that moss at first into, uh, uh, into the composter. And it's just like, this is all just material that I'm just throwing away. Literally... Laura, hey, thank you so much for joining in, though. I really appreciate it. Had a lot of fun hanging out and talking about dogs. <laughs> I hope you and your Rottweilers have a great week. I'm, uh, I'm gonna run out of these last two pickaxes in the hot bar here, and then I'm calling it a night as well, so. We're almost done. Almost done stream for the day, anyway. That's crazy. You need your sleep. Good for you. Alright, so I stream Mondays and Wednesdays for sure. And then even the Wednesdays is uh, my buddy Pipes. We play whatever game he's looking at this week. And then I do my best to uh, try to get some streams on the weekend, but that's usually a lot of family time stuff happening, so it's hit and miss. But I'm trying to get some more, uh, I guess Minecraft isn't especially your forte, but that's usually what I'm trying to get videos, little content, work on my editing. It's been uh, 
the first few series of Colum that I tried out. Like, it's so tough to get videos under 30 minutes. And it's like YouTube videos, they want you to be 5, 10 minutes long. Like, I can't do it. I have so much story. I have too much to tell. And I'm hilarious, so I can't cut things out. <laughs> and then you, you look the numbers, and it's like, hey, maybe you're not hilarious. But I am. So the numbers don't matter. I do this because I just have fun with it. So. All right, you take off. Have a great sleep. Have a great week. And uh, yeah, hopefully we catch you in the future. Yeah, I'm 10 to 11 right now for me. to curve under. So we're uh, getting under the geode. The thing is going to be full of amethyst. We've been in this, <laughs> in these chunks for so long. The gems inside this thing. Yeah, that's what we're mining out right now. We're working on it. We're getting there. Oh, we should be sleeping. It's going to be creepers. Hey. Yeah, no, uh, I found the one, and we filled, uh, we filled a shulker and a half full of iron ores, and took that back and smelted it up, and so uh, we got a beacon, and still... A bunch of iron back at home. But yeah, have you found one yet? The, the, the typically, uh, down in the deep slate, look for tusks. And every once in a while, you'll find... Uh, yeah, you look for... Uh, tough chunks, and if you notice, like a lot of iron ore, and yeah, it's usually down in the deep slate layers. Oh my goodness, right? Like, 
I'm slowly going to work on my building. Like, I have to build a new house anyway. Because my current house is, like, just storage now. My starter house turned into a storage building, so... I sleep under the stars more often than not. <laughs> I'd love to, it's so far away though. Um, if you go to any of the other streams Pipes and I have done, we typically start them in our little like campsite out front, sitting in some minecarts. I mean, in our wooden chairs, because we've uh, figured out how to make chairs in Minecraft. Pure vanilla. Oh, Sorry, it's a uh, tell you what, we'll reuse up these, if you're still, we're almost out of pickaxe, and once that's done, we can head back, take the last little purvey, and then we'll, uh, on Monday, I said Monday for sure, uh, next Monday, we'll tell Pipes, we'll, uh, we'll do the servers. Covering our uh, iron vein that I located chat. Anybody new just joining in? And if so, I hope you're doing well. But you're catching near the end. We've gone through half a dozen pickaxes. Almost. Look at the size of this iron chunk. And... Yeah, once these are broken down, we're going to uh, head back home from the dig site here. Say goodbye. Right. We will be back. I hope you've all been having a good week. Continue to do so. Boom, coffee, you know what? I've got coffee right here. Cheers to that. Listen. Mm. Got it in the thermos so it stays nice and warm for me. Just in case you all wanted to hear a man slurp some coffee. <laughs> That's what you all came here for, right? All right, here it goes. Any second. Right. 
great. Any second, I said. Well, hopefully you're able to locate the cord you're looking for. Okay. That's our bone meal. That's all the bone meal we had. That's all the pickaxe we had. This is our fancy unbreaking one, so. Bonus, you guys. You get a little bit of bonus streamage. Alright, we need to get this lower. Okay. So there's still a lot of ugh. Oof, how did I leave this so high? Guys, guys, what am I doing? Ow. Oh, no trees. ground we need to take care of right over here. <coughs> Alright, so I have, um, actually for this world, I could not find a desert. And I didn't want to keep looking farther and farther, so I used chunk phase so I could locate the camels. And it turns out our desert was 20,000 blocks away, so I am I am glad that I did use chunk phase for that. Yeah, I know, so, um, I'm not going to use it initially when the trial chambers come out. I'm going to do a couple streams, and we're going to try to find one, uh, without using trunk phase. Uh, we have, I think we haven't gone west. Uh, most of our locate, like, um, initial searching, exploring we did, we headed to the west of spawn. But the uh, Ender Pearl sent us to the uh, for the end portal, the stronghold, if you will.
Ooh. Almost full milled in his daily and got an entire tree. That would have been a pain in the butt, eh? Yeah, hopefully. Um, and then it's also, really, we have to do so much exploring to try to find all those new dog varieties. So excited for that. That's an excellent addition. So happy that they're adding all those different dog variants. That's going to be exciting. I'm going to go collect all the dogs. Have them set up in their own biomes. No, I'm kidding. We're running out of room. We're going to have a nice McMansion. We'll just have an area set up for all of the doggos. Oh yeah, you like the original one? Um, I like truthfully, I'm just I'm really excited for the the black one, black variant. Um, because yeah, the white one was my old puppers. Yeah, just a few uh, light brown spots on him. So he was more close. He was closest to the original wolf. But Echo is uh, definitely the black wolf variant. Now, will I take the dogs, like, out on adventures and stuff? Probably not, even with the new wolf armor. Oh, yeah, definitely. Echo. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> as soon as we get that one home, it's definitely going to be our little Echo. Pretty good. Smooth a bit over there on the edge. I know, but this is like, I started over there where like I had partially found the iron vein and then I had followed it and I uh, tunneled up and the iron vein brought me all the way over here. So we had to make the uh, initial dig much bigger when I realized how much bigger the iron vein was. We just like had to is a bit of a stretch. Right? I guess I didn't necessarily have to do it, but.
that. It likes to travel up, that's for sure. I feel like all these little caves and stuff are going to be connecting pretty soon. Giant. <laughs> um, well, that would be the dirt, I'm assuming, if you're talking about, like, a sky block. You gotta start on the old dirt block, don't you? Uh, Peter, how are you? I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for dropping in. We're here digging out our iron vein. I swear, it's down there somewhere. I promise. We will get there eventually, one day. Today may not, will, will not be that day. So the moss is... All this moss is because it's, I'm too tired of repairing my pickaxes, and I can buy, I can buy a diamond hoe for one emerald. And so, we had half a dozen with us today, and yeah, there's an iron vein down below us, thousands of iron ores, and we're going to expose it. We're, we're Digging out the secret. Yeah, one emerald. Awesome. I'm glad. I love finding fellow Minecrafters. Share the love. Uh, so the village, we have uh, our villagers. We may have um, found them with a sickness. So we cured them. And then they got sick again. So then we made them better. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy now. It's not. It's big, Jim. Should have already been done stream, but I pulled out my unbreaking hoe, and we're gonna stay. We stayed a little longer. People kept stopping in, saying hi, being nice. It's the only fair to stay. Make them endure what everybody else that stopped in and had to endure. Yes, you are. Welcome. Oh my goodness. What? <clears throat> I'm brave. I'm brave. I'm a brave boy.
Just another cave. Just another cave. We're safe. Nothing scary. Netherite armor. What do we have to be afraid of, right? Got him. So have you found yourself an iron vein? Anybody else? Let me start heading this way. This. Yeah, they they can be hard to find too. Right, obviously that's that's the rare part. and your friends, eh? Alright. Keep an eye on this pick or this hoe for me, chat, because it's our last one and it's my good one. It's my fortune. Use it in the garden. Get this all of the good stuff. Tree. Where? Buy stuff. Okay. Put this down. Just to keep the gravel there. Alright, got some high points over there. High point right here. Let's do this part. Stone over there. Yeah. Get him. Get him. <laughs> What's happening in chat? Hey, thanks again for stopping back in. I always appreciate it. We're mossing out, buddy. Mossamanos. Hermitcraft. Our buddy B dub. He inspired us, you know?
Mom vote. No, no, no. No, no, no. Actually, I should say, Mumbo Jumbo is excellent. All of the Hermits are very well done. But, uh, this season is, um, Isco. Uh, he is putting out, like, a whole bunch of, like, he has his Vodsco. And it's just so much content of him and the Hermits just hanging out. So much, like, just behind the scenes. Not edited, just chilling. Well, buddy, I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> Good to keep me company. Appreciate it. I got the comments for the camels, buddy. I appreciate those. I will get those done for uh, the next episode as well. I think this is going to be our good progress for this farm here. Farm. I guess this is our bone meal farm, right? <laughs> this is how we get bone meal. We use bone meal to make moss make bone meal. Ew, oh, ugh, ugh. Yeah, but if you hit the old subscribe button and uh, you'll get the next stream, get the old notification popped up and we'll be able to hang out again. But Professional here. Look at this. Whee! I, I'm not good. We got a little flying obstacle course. You gotta dodge the dodge the oars. <laughs> yeah, but uh, one of the accounts that the minis plays on. Well, I appreciate that, buddy. I'm glad that you made it for a stream then. Yeah, actually, here, I'm going to... Uh, better stop the recording. I can log that one out. See, we got the iron ores there to indicate that's the exit. <laughs> yeah, so that way the minis were able to sign in whenever they wanted. And, uh, it also comes with, like, the Realms Plus pack, so we get a bunch of, like, uh, world downloads. We get, like, the Sky Block and the One Block and stuff like that that we've done. That's all through that. Oh, it's dark. It's dark. Okay. So here, hold on. Let me... Do I have a bed? I don't have a bed. I'll sleep, and then I can do the world tour. And by world, I mean 
from spawn. Okay, but anyway, yeah. So this is our starter house. This is camp. Where it starts with, Hey, hey my fellow crafters. You are here with our buddy, Johnny Young. Love the mods. No mods, silly boy. Pure vanilla on this realm. Have to get your achievements. You gotta get the trophies. You gotta be able to. You have a great day today. Thanks again for dropping in. Yeah, right? So, got the... Oh, I hope it's in here. Where's my pig step? Ugh. Anyway, so house. Our starter house. Bamboo had just come out. So I got excited for the bamboo and the mud blocks. And yes, it's awful. Don't judge this house, okay? Please don't judge the house. And so it came in. And all of the chests weren't here before. There's just a couple of chests. And I used to have a bedroom back there. But then, but then my storage, I thought, hey, look it. Look it, we'll have rafts. These are the, these are our wood storages. We use the type of boat to discern. Um, there it is. Oh. So what would be cool is if you could bring a disc player with you. Like they need to have like a little Walkman. Transportable disc player. Uh, so then yes, I finally had to go out get some cherry grove. Cherry trees for the minis. Or one mini's house. Amethyst. My second mini's house. Not a big fan of birds. They're always making creeper noises. Super annoying. Uh, and then of course, we have Pipe's house. Pipe lives up in the up in the sky. Uh, oh, look at our lava farm. Oof, just pumping out. Perfect. Throw this in here. 100 items it'll do. See how fast this farm is? It's so efficient. My goodness. <laughs> um, and then we got the horses. And down here we have our first uh, farm. We found a spider spawner. There's a spider spawner down there. Uh, uh, creeper farm. This is the pot shop. We built ourselves a little pot shop so we can sell all of our shirts. Oh, we got a couple of these pot trees in here. Nice. We made ourselves some lamps. Look at that. See? See, Dr. Sheep, I can, uh, I can do this, I can do this. Oh, our berry farm, look at it. Oh man, we found some sweet berries when I had to go get the ice. Well, that's exciting, that's exciting. It's actually, uh, yeah, let's do this. That'll, that'll be nice. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, a little bit of color pop. See, I'm a builder. I'm building. <laughs> uh, look at. Hey guys, you got any seeds down there? Anything? Wait. There's a 
dandelion. Never mind. All right, yeah. You're heading to school. I'm heading to bed. You folks have an awesome week. Thank you again, everybody, dropping in, giving likes. I appreciate that. But most of all, just being here. You all take care and stay safe out there. Oh, bye bye. Oh, I can't see her face on that rock. Alright, guys. Till next time.